Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be taking a good hard squint at one of the more intriguing devices launched at MWC 2022, the Huawei MatePad Paper. The MatePad Paper isn't just an e-book reader, it's more like an e-ink tablet, boasting some impressive features that you won't find on any of them Kindle jobbies. Now the MatePad Paper is certainly a lot more expensive than the likes of the Kindles, it'll cost you €499, Euros, so it'll set you back about 400 450 quid here in the UK. The question is, is it worth that extra scratch? Well, let's whip it on out of the box, take you on a full-on tour of all of the hardware and software. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Oh, that's stiff, so to speak. Uh, so my review unit of the MatePad Paper also comes bundled with the MatePad Paper folio cover. We'll check that out in a bit, but first of all, let's concentrate on the tab itself and what you get bundled in the box. So what you've got is, of course, the device itself. You've got a dinky Wii power adapter. It's actually smaller than most phone chargers that I've fondled recently. You've got a Type-C USB cable. You've got Huawei's stylus pen as well, so you can get all sketchy with the MatePad paper. And you've got a couple of bonus stylus nibs stashed in there as well, in case you need to replace the original. So overall, pretty good package. So this, in all of its splendor and glory, is the Huawei MatePad paper. And I've got to say, it is basically like clutching a gigantic Kindle. Either that or I can pretend it's a normal sized Kindle and I'm just like a cute little wee pixie fella. It's a 10.3 inch device, pretty skinny bezels surrounding that display actually, thankfully, certainly compared with those Amazon Kindle e-readers, except for a slightly fatter bezel down the left edge so you can comfortably clutch it like so. I'd say actually the design is more reminiscent of something like the Onyx Books Note Air 2, another e-ink tablet. As you can see there, very, very skinny indeed, just 6.6 .6 mils thick at its thickest point. It's just 360 grams, so impressively lightweight despite the size, no matter how you want to clutch it, it should be comfortable to clutch all day long. The only thing is you can't quite wrap your hand around that entire back end unless you've got gigantic mitts. And around the back end, you've got this leathery finish as well, which is really nice, just textured, just to give it an extra bit of grip and make it feel nice to the fingertips and should hopefully help prevent it from getting all greasy and smudgy as well. And you can grab the mate pad paper and a choice of three different colors. This is the black version, otherwise you've also got blue or a kind of beigey type color. Rest of the design, pretty straightforward stuff. You've got your Type-C USB port down below for charging this thing up. If we flip over to the right-hand side, that's where you'll find a volume rocker up at the top end. And then lastly here on the top edge, you've got your power button with a built-in fingerprint sensor. And the paper feels like it'll be a pretty hardy device in general, but if you are a little bit paranoid, you want to give it a bit of extra protection, well, you can slap it into Huawei's official folio, which just wraps around it like so, holds it in place via the wonder of magnets, and just, yeah, affords it that bit of extra protection. So anyway, that's the design. Let's actually get this bad boy powered up and take you on a full tour of the rest of it. Oh, she does a little Huawei jingle as well, lovely. Right, so the setup is complete and I have registered my fingerprint as well. So now whenever I want to log in to the MatePad paper, all I've got to do is just tap my digit there. And yep, we get to skip the old pin entry shenanigans. Now running the show here is Huawei's very own Kirin 820e chipset. So far, performance seems similar to the likes of the Amazon Kindles. When you tap stuff, don't expect an immediate response like you would on your smartphone. It does still take a second or two for things to happen. It's just like waiting for a response from me after I've had a couple of pints, for instance. It's most noticeable when you're uh, searching for something in the bookstore, for instance. You're typing, you'll notice that sometimes it takes a little while for your typing to actually catch up. As for the actual operating system, well, the MatePad paper is running Harmony OS 2, as found on recent Huawei smartphones, but obviously in a very different form. Kind of similar to how you had a bastardized version of Android running on those Onyx Books tablets. So as you can see there, your homepage is just nicely laid out. So you've got fast access to any pertinent events you've got to attend today, any notes you've recently stuck in there, your inbox. As you can see, the main emphasis here is very much on reading. So you've got fast access to your bookshelf, which is all of your books that you've got installed on the device, as well as the bookstore. And the bookstore is quite an eclectic selection, that's for sure. Just from a quick scan around, it looks like it's a mixture of kind of out of copyright old classic literature and lots of very uh, interesting looking books. And the paranormal section for one looks like the kind of thing I wouldn't wade into with at least five face masks and a bottle of bleach. The mind just absolutely boggles. But you know, you can always sample any of these books before you buy, just so you know they're uh, right for you. But yeah, there are some absolute bangers on here. A bit of Edgar Allan Poe action, Ulysses, obviously a classic. And plenty of non-fiction instead, if you'd rather dive into a bit of history, business, uh, giant pandas. 
and even a selection of audio books as well if you can't be bothered with all of that using your eyes bollocks. Or of course another way of getting books onto the MatePad paper to read is to simply transfer them off of a laptop, computer, whatever. You've got 64 gigs of storage on this bad boy so plenty of space for lots of books. Unfortunately it looks like it's not compatible with Morbi files which is what uh, the Kindle uses or CBZ uh, graphic novel files either but it is compatible with PDFs by the looks so it seems to have recognised that one so let's give this a go. And there you go that's working an absolute treat so I can get my geeky 2000 AD fix on the go. So yeah, if it's cross compatibility you're after, straight out of the box, those books e-readers, absolutely fantastic. So quick and simple, just copy your files across and pretty much everything was immediately understood and worked with. So now let's focus on one of the highlights of the Huawei MatePad paper, that epic size 10.3 inch e-ink display. It is monochrome, of course, as standard with e-inks. And while we bigs up that a mighty display is a major advantage as it means less page turning compared with most e-readers so it's ideal for lazy gits basically but it's also really really good if you fancy yourself a good bit of graphic novel action. You've got an 1872 by 1404 pixel resolution so those visuals are nice and crisp. Pretty respectable contrast as well for an ink display so moodier graphic novel fare like Judge Death definitely looking pretty slick. In fact, according to the tech specs, it's 256 grayscale effects, so 256 different levels of gray from white to black. And of course, those viewing angles are absolutely perfect as well. You've got an anti-glare display as well, so even when the light is directly striking the screen, as you can see, they're still clearly legible. And you've got 32 separate brightness levels as well. As you can see, it's not even anywhere close to that maximum brightness at the moment, and still no problem. You can manually tweak the brightness at any point, although as you can set it to day or night mode. It's set to smart refresh by default as well and so far touch one not much problem with the refresh it's not the fastest refresh around as you can see there but thankfully there isn't much in the way of ghost and I've noticed a little bit here and there but nothing too severe and that can often be a problem when you're dealing with graphical novels or just any books with lots of illustrations pictures and things in and if you do decide to get some audiobook action on the go well it's a dual speaker setup you've got one speaker down here beneath the device and one up top as well so let's give a random one a go. You've got your volume rocker on the right edge, of course, to quickly and easily uh, change up the volume. Sweat poured off Derek West's body as he manually trimmed the hedges along. And that's enough of that. Now the speakers seem pretty powerful. Certainly on the top volume, you'll have no problem listening to an audiobook, even when there's lots going on all around you, although I'd suggest not listening to this particular one when there are other people about. Vocals come through pretty clear as well, so you could feasibly just stick on an audiobook or podcast or whatever, slap the MatePad paper down beside you if you didn't want to uh, bother with headphones or anything, but you do have Bluetooth 5.2 support as well if you do want to get connected up. And then of course you've got the Huawei M Pencil stylus support as well, and that comes bundled in the box as you saw before. All you've got to do is stick the stylus on the edge of the e-reader like so, and then they will pair up via Bluetooth. Very quick, very straightforward and simple. Get a nice little tutorial on how to actually use the thing. And this stylus is as good as it comes basically. You got 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity. You got 26 millisecond latency. So basically as soon as you touch that tip to the screen of the MatePad paper, you will instantly see results. Meanwhile, the textured surface of the display gives a proper paper-like feel when you are scribbling as well, which is really, really nice feedback. It's just times like this, I wish I had any kind of creative talent whatsoever. You can also record little voice memos while you're sketching as well. Quite handy if you're going to be in a university lecture or something like that, for instance, so you can record what is going on while you're taking the notes and replay it back like so. And this right here is uh, my take on a person who's happy. Um, I've heard such people do exist. Uh, he's, got, he's given him a bit of hair, something that I don't have. So I'm personally already very envious of this 2D fictional character. And when you're reading a book, you can also scribble notes actually directly onto the book, if you like. All you have to do is swipe down from the top corner using the stylus pen, uh, like so, <laughs> get there in the end. And then you can, as you can see, annotate and then just, uh, just do whatever you want to do. And then when you finish down here and you can just save it for later. You've also got lots of other features you'd expect, including handwriting to text and a split screen mode so you can read a book and take notes at the same time, for instance. And then you've also got a small selection of apps sat here on the MatePad paper as well. Pretty standard stuff. So you've got a file browser, you've got the optimizer app, calendar, email, recorder. 
And like those Boost tablets, you also have a basic web browser as well. This allows you to quickly jump online and go to any uh, website you like. And obviously an e-ink device isn't the ideal way to browse the internet because it tends to be not quite as quick and the screen obviously not as well suited to scrolling up and down web pages. As you can see there, the refresh rate obviously not as strong as the likes of a smartphone or a proper dedicated tablet. But it'll certainly do the job in a pinch and as you can see you've got that nice spacious screen so it's absolutely fine well suited to reading long articles and the like what's even more intriguing is the fact you've actually got a direct youtube link right there on the main browser page so if you wanted to you could enjoy uncle spurt in full monochrome glory right here on the mate pad paper and there you have it a bit of tech spurt action on an e-ink display exactly the way i intended it to be viewed there's possibly only an 80% chance that my ghostly monochrome visage will haunt your sleep until you wake up in a puddle of what you can only pray is sweat. And of course there's room for expansion in the future as well because you've got support for Huawei's app gallery here on the MatePad paper as well. A very small selection of apps available at the moment however that appears to be basically it. As for the battery well it's a 3625 milliamp our cell packed inside of the MatePad paper give you around 10 hours of full on screen on time so there you have it that in a nutshell is the Huawei MatePad paper few little issues right now such as a lack of app support and a lack of cross-platform compatibility as well be nice to be able to just chuck kindle books on this thing and read them wherever you roam but hopefully that's the kind of support that will come in future updates and for now it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week cheers everyone love you